Our quote for today is, kids, no joke. There used to be a phone number to call just to find out what time it was. I used to love doing that, as well as calling the weather on the phone. Today we look at the first reading from Isaiah. Yesterday and today the church has given us these very powerful Lenten readings all about doing the works of mercy. And Lent really should be a time of almsgiving, which is doing the works of mercy. Obviously, it's a time of prayer and fasting, sacrifice and penance. But Isaiah, God tells us through Isaiah, really that there is a fast that is pleasing to God and a fast that is not pleasing to God. And we heard in Isaiah yesterday and today, if your fast day, if you still carry out your own pursuits and drive your laborers, if your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking one another, says, do you think that will make your prayer heard by God on high? So any sacrifice or fasting must be accompanied by love, by charity, by treating others with mercy, and of course, kindness. And talk, then he talks about, <clears throat> Is God pleased that someone bow their head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Is that a day acceptable to the Lord? No. He says, this is the fasting I wish. Releasing those bound unjustly. So here he goes through really works of mercy. The corporal and spiritual works of mercy. Forgiving injuries. Or releasing those unjustly bound. This is really social justice. The church has always been very keen on us doing social justice, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke. If people are yoked with heavy burdens, it says setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry. One of the great works of mercy is feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty. So Isaiah says that this is when we fast and accompanied by works of mercy, this makes our sacrifices pleasing to God, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless. Again, one of those works of mercy is to shelter the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them. Again, all these are the works of mercy, not turning your back on others. It says God then says, <clears throat> then if you do these things, your light will break forth like the dawn. And it says your wound will quickly be healed. See, by helping others, it heals us. And that's such an important aspect of the spiritual life. If we think too much about ourselves, we become too self-focused and even have a self-centered spirituality, which we don't want. We want to be focused on loving and serving God and loving and serving others. The best way to get rid of, let's say, challenges and difficulties in your own life is to help others who are going through more difficult challenges. So we become forgetful of self by focusing on helping the needy, the poor, the oppressed, and helping those in need. If you do that, it says, then your light will break forth like the dawn and your own wound will be healed. The wounds of your own heart will be healed. We have to stop thinking about ourselves and be focused on loving and serving others, caring for those who are going through much more difficult times than we are. It says, then your vindication will go forth, forth before you and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. So God will watch over you in the front and protect you. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and he will say, here I am. So even our prayer is heard by God when we accompany our sacrifices and our Lenten works with almsgiving, mercy, and compassion. And of course, today we honor our Blessed Mother in this first Saturday of the month, and we pray in that Hail Holy Queen, we call her Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. So today we ask Our Lady, the Queen of Mercy, to help us to continue to have a good and holy Lent. Yes, extra time in prayer, sacrifices, but also and really primarily works of mercy and works of compassion towards those in need.